Hello everybody, it's Mrs Kaplan and in today's assembly we're going to be talking about Safer Internet Day. What do you think Safer Internet Day might be about and do you remember celebrating it any other years? Pause the video and have a chat. So, Safer Internet Day is held every February all around the world. Last year, over 170 different countries celebrated the day. Safer Internet Day is a chance to think about any worries we might have about using technology and the internet. But it's also about celebrating all the fantastic things that technology can help us with. Last year, over half of all of the children in the UK heard about or joined in with Safer Internet Day. Here at Earlham Primary School, we joined in. I did an assembly and you did some work around the topic, which was all fun and games, exploring respect and relationships online. But it's not just schools that take part. Lots of other people get involved too, including the government, lots of charities, sports clubs, the police, and even the companies who make your favourite apps and games. <clears throat> By participating in this assembly, you're joining thousands of others in marking this very special day. So let's celebrate. We want this year's Safer Internet Day to be the biggest and best celebration yet. It's so important to recognise all the exciting and amazing things we can do online. Pause the video now and have a class discussion about all the amazing things that you like to do online. I'm sure you had plenty of suggestions. Maybe you like to play games or chat with your friends. Maybe you use the internet to learn new things. Or maybe you love watching videos. Whatever you love to do online, I'm sure there was lots of there were lots of ideas. And although there are incredible things, lots of incredible things to do online, the internet isn't perfect. And sometimes people use it in ways that are not safe kind or responsible. Maybe you or your friends have seen things go online, go wrong online. Safer Internet Day is a good chance to discuss about online issues and what we can all do to make the internet a safer place for everyone. <clears throat> Pause the video now and have a class discussion about what online issues you and your friends have seen or heard about. It really is important that all children and young people like you get to share their opinions and experiences of going online, the good and the bad. And that's why this year, the theme for Safer Internet Day is, want to talk about it? Making space for conversations about life online. And you know how much I love to talk about online safety. Communicating with each other can help us all work better together whether that's speaking, using sign language, writing someone a note, or whatever method you use. You probably already spend lots of your time chatting with different people in your life. But what benefits or good reasons can you think of talking of for talking to other people? Stop the video and have a chat. Hopefully you came up with lots of good reasons for talking to other people. You may have had some of these. It's a way to connect and bond with other people. It's fun. It's a chance to learn new things and ask questions. You can get help when things go wrong. And it's a way to share information and ideas. I'm sure you probably came up with, with some more of your own. All of these reasons and more show that communicating is not only important, but can make our lives better too. It's especially important if you ever have a worry or a concern. Telling someone can help you feel better and means you're not on your own. And together, you can work out what to do next. So, who can you talk to? Well, 
chatting with your friends about what you all enjoy doing online can be a great fun and a lovely way to make your friendships stronger. Have a chat now with your class about who else you could talk to about what goes on online, good and bad. Well, as well as having those chats with your friends, you can have the same conversations with the adults you know and trust too. I'm sure you mentioned parents, carers, teachers, teaching assistants, and any other adults who look after you. And you can talk to them about your favorite things to do online, or you could even share your top online safety tips to see what they think. The more we talk about the things we see and do online, the easier it is for us all to support each other. It also means that if something ever goes wrong, it's even easier to find someone to help. So have a think about who you would really want to talk to if you had a problem online. And obviously, here at Earlham Primary School, part of our job is making you feel safe and happy in all parts of your life, including online. If you ever have a worry about something that's happened online, you can come to us for help and advice. We'll always listen carefully and give you some ideas of what you can do. Sometimes, if the person that you tell is worried that you or someone else might be in danger, they'll pass it on to the safeguarding team. And you know you've seen posters around school of who's on the safeguarding team. If it does get passed to the safeguarding team, it's not because you're in trouble. It's because they, can, they have a special job of making sure that every child here is safe, just like every adult in our school does. So, our challenge to you is to talk about it. Talk to your friends. Talk to the adults you know and trust. Tell them about the funny things you see online or your favourite game or app to use. Tell them about the latest trends or your favourite video or the trick to beating your favourite level in a game. Tell them about the things that frustrate you or upset you or make you uncomfortable or the things that make you laugh out loud. Tell them about how you think they can best support you in your online life. But most importantly, tell them if something is worrying you. It's never too late to share an online problem and get help and support that can make things better. So there are two things I want you to do after this assembly. The first one, I want you to have a really good class discussion about all of those things that I've just mentioned. The funny, the not so funny, the worrying, the not so worrying. Have a chat and you may be able to solve some of your problems together. The other thing I want you to do is to enter the competition that we're offering. It's a chance for you to, to educate everybody else about online safety. So you can either create a poster or maybe even a short film to teach younger children about online safety. The closing date for the competition is the 17th of February. And you can either enter it by giving me just your poster on paper, or if you want to create something online, come and have a chat with me and I'll tell you how you can get it to me. The same with if you wanted to create a video, come and have a chat and we can talk about how you can share that with me. I look forward to seeing all your entries. So I want you to keep talking, keep surfing, keep having fun and have a very happy, safer internet day, everyone. See you all around school soon.